Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, fellow siblings in Christ. Hope all is well with each and every single one of you guys. Take this opportunity to share the gospel. There are many of us right now that are confined into our homes. Some of us, some of us who are essential workers that are getting out there trying to do the work that we can in the midst of the coronavirus scare or the coronavirus pandemic, I mean to say, they're out here. But there are those of us having the opportunity to share the gospel, even though we're confined in our homes. If we're able to travel here and there, whether it's to work, to the grocery store, or even at home, get the gospel out. This is the perfect opportunity to share with those who aren't saved the gospel. And to those who think that they're saved, but their life has not lined up with the Lord, share the gospel. There are people, even those who I love and care about, who have been asking me, oh, are we in the end times? Are we in the end times? Yes, we are. And then they're asking questions like what the guardsmen asked Paul and Silas. Sirs, what must I do to get saved? And here's the answer that Paul and Silas gave that I'm going to give now. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, you and your household. Surrender everything to God while you still can. The door is still open. The way, the truth, and the life is still available to you. Run to the Lord while he's still available because that time's going to come when he's going to close the mouth of the prophets. He's going to tell the watchmen, don't warn anymore. He's going to tell his pastors, you know what? They've had enough warning. Don't pray for them no more. Don't preach to them no more. I'm on my way. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. Please, I beg of you, I implore you to get to the Lord while the time is yet near because that time is running out. Do not wait until that midnight hour. Do not wait until that last second because while you're waiting for that midnight hour, remember, you may not make 1159. Please get to God while you can. All these signs and wonders out here right now, we are in the beginning of sorrows. This thing is just starting up now. Time is ticking away. Are you ready for the return of the Messiah? Are you ready for the return of the Lord Jesus Christ? If you are even sitting there right now wondering, am I saved? Do I have enough to get to the Lord? Am I lined up with his will? If you're asking that question, then I got news for you. Jesus is still available to you. If you're wondering if you're saved, run to Jesus now. Matter of fact, as soon as this video stops, drop what you're doing. Drop to your knees. Get to God. Get in his presence. Repent of all sin. Give him all the praise and all the worship and all the honor while you still can. And I'm saying this out of the love of Christ, because if you have an opportunity to listen to this message right now, the Lord is still having grace and mercy and still reaching his hand to you. I am nobody but a servant of the Lord. I love Jesus Christ, but I'm grateful to give this message. You have an opportunity to get to God. Drop the Hebrew Israelite. Drop the African spiritualism. Drop the false religion. Drop the atheism. Drop everything that connects you not to God, but connects you to who is against God and wants to see you burn with him in the lake of fire. Jesus indeed is coming. Are you ready? Now say this out of the love of God. God bless each and every single one of you guys. Peace.